and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Hope you guys are having a good day. I just woke up a little bit ago and I'm having some coffee, even though I'm having a coffee meeting at uh, 11, but I needed some coffee to get going this morning. So I woke up, I am having some coffee, and now I'm going to do a workout. I just went on YouTube and Googled Tone It Up because that's like my favorite uh, workout duo to do workouts from. So I'm going to do a booty and tricep workout, but first I'm going to I'm going to do a little warm-up on this stepper that I got at Aldi. It was a while ago, but I think you can still get them online. It was really reasonably priced, so I'm going to do like 500-ish steps. I'm going to probably like watch a little TV while I do it just because it just I don't know, I like doing it that way. <laughs> it kind of takes your mind off of it. So I'm going to warm up on the stepper, then do a booty and tricep workout, and then get ready. After my workout, I made a really simple breakfast. It looks kind of gross, but it's actually really good. It is a fourth of cup of oats, a half a scoop of chocolate protein powder. I use the Tone It Up protein powder because like I'm into that community. None of this is sponsored just by the way. I just really like um, that protein powder. And then um, um, almond milk, just enough to like cover everything and mix it all in. Put it in the microwave for a minute and a half and here you go. So I'm all dressed and ready to head out for my meeting. So I thought I would do a little outfit of the day so you can see what I'm wearing on a typical day in Miami in December. <clears throat> I don't know what that was. So I have on this little sundress that I got from Goodwill and it's actually a little bit big for me so I have on this um, belt just to kind of like give myself a waist. Then I have some Toms. I got these at Nordstrom Rack for like 20 bucks and normally they're like 98 so definitely check Nordstrom Rack. Uh, but these are little Toms wedges. And yeah, I have on my Aid Through Trade bracelets. If you haven't entered the giveaway, you definitely should. Um, they are handling everything, so I'm not like getting commission. This is not like a sponsored deal. It's just um, I wear A through Trade, and they saw that I wear A through Trade and decided to do a little giveaway with me. So, so that is that. And so that's my outfit of the day, and I put my hair up. I actually, this is my third day, so I put some dry shampoo in my hair. Then I took a little bit of gel and rubbed it through my hair, twisted it in like a low bun and put a clip in so that I can take it down later and hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be some like nice waves, but who knows. Um, but I just wanted to get it out of my face because it is like 80 degrees outside, so it's hot and I'm running around. Um, yeah, I did intend to use the eyeliner I showed you in yesterday's video, but I couldn't find a single eyeliner brush around my house. I don't know where they went, so I need to find that this weekend. Locate eyeliner brush. I am using the new deodorant that I unboxed yesterday in my advent calendar, and we'll see. So far, so good. Um, the Scylla sponge, I tried to use it under my eyes, but I think it's going to take a little, like, finessing. I need to, like, play around with it more, so... Yeah, so that is where I am on those two things. In fact, before I leave, let's go ahead and unbox my other advent calendar for today. So this is what today's box looks like, and let's go ahead and get into it here. So in today's advent calendar is this Lush product. It is called Feeling Younger. It is a skin tint. It's like a highlighter. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. No, I can't. It is this cream highlighter that I bought and I loved it and then I put it in my medicine cabinet and I just forgot about it. So this is another product that I am rediscovering and I think I'm going to put a little bit on my cheeks now. So let's see here. So I'm just taking a little bit like this. So I'm just taking a little bit like this. And it just gives a really nice natural glow. So let's see. I'm gonna do a little bit on this side. So 
So there is that. That is today's advent calendar goodie and I'm going to incorporate this into my makeup routine this weekend. So I'm going to head to my meeting now and of course you're coming with me. We're going to Dr. Smood back to Wynwood so hopefully parking is not bad. We'll see. <laughs> is random in some of the most amazing ways sometimes. I just ran into Patricia Field in Wynwood and we talked for a while about just art and fashion and New York. Um, she has a pop-up in Miami you should come check out through December. I'm gonna leave all of the details down in the description box. She is an amazing uh, just yeah she's an amazing person so you should come and see her artwork here in Wynwood. It is truly awesome. So I'm walking now to Vice City Bean, which is another coffee shop. I am on like a coffee tour, I guess, today. But I'm going to meet a friend of mine because, yeah, why not? So I will show you what coffee I'm getting here. about 6 30 now and the last that I checked in I had just left the Patricia Field art fashion exhibit so I was at a meeting at Dr. Smood and then across the street I was like wait a second and I saw that on the building it said Patricia Field art fashion and then I saw outside like who I thought was Patricia Field and I was like oh my gosh no way so I walked over there and it was open, it opened at noon, and I just walked in, and there she was. Patricia Field, if you uh, don't know who that is, she is a designer and a costume maker. She did all of the costumes and all of the styling for Sex in the City for Sarah Jessica Parker. She's done movies, like she is famous, and she has kind of like a eclectic, a very unique art-based fashion um, feel and inspiration. Oh my gosh. So I just walked in there and I took some photos. It was a beautiful collection in there and she's kind of like curating um, some art for other people as well. Then I just started talking to her. I was like, oh, hi. And we talked for a long time and she is so genuine and down to earth and just passionate about art. It was amazing. I was totally fangirling and trying to hold it together because yeah, she's kind of a big deal. So after that, I went to meet with my friend Rita at Vice City Bean, which is another coffee shop. So you guys totally have the right to judge me for how many different coffee shops I went to and how much coffee I drink today. But actually, I've only had three coffees today. One cup here, then I had one cup at Dr. Smood and one cup at Vice City Bean. So that's, you know, that's not unreasonable, right? 
but it was so great to catch up with my friend Rita. I've known her for a really long time and to see her beautiful baby. So we talked for a while and then I had to get back here um, to do some work and traffic was nut with this whole nuts like this whole art basil thing the traffic was insane so I got back here I did some work and then I got a horrible migraine like I was pretty sure it's gonna vomit migraine so this is how I do work when I get a headache right is this normal I put a um, this is an eye mask that has like little beans in it and I put it in the freezer like it's always in the freezer and then whenever I need it I take it out and so I just sit it on my head like this and do my work it actually feels really good so yeah I don't know why just got a migraine so I took some leave and I'm using peppermint oil and I have my little cold bean bag thing on my head I'm just gonna keep at it that's what you gotta do I guess so yeah, so I got a horrible migraine. I tried the ice pack on my head. I also did peppermint, which I have here. And then since it was making me feel like I was gonna vomit, I used a couple drops of frankincense and drank some water. I still have some more water here I am drinking. I laid down for a little bit to take a nap and now I've woken up and I still have to edit and upload this vlog to get up today. And then my camera battery died, so I just plugged it in really quick to give it a charge so I could record this last clip. So I told you that yesterday I went to a sprint event for Art Basel. I'm going to include that footage in tomorrow's vlog just because I don't think there's enough room in this vlog and I want to make sure that you can see all there was there. So I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed this footage. I hope you're having a great day. And today's featured comment will be featured right here. So don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment section to have your comment featured possibly tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications you know the drill. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>